Could a nuclear accident like the one we're seeing in Japan happen in the US? Unfortunately, the answer is yes, and for a number of reasons. First of all, we have 23 of the same design reactor in this country, the GE Mark I boiling water reactor, which was recognized as dangerous back in 1972 by the Atomic Energy Commission, and again in 1985 by Harold Denton, then safety commissioner for the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He said that this design had a 90% chance of containment failure in the event of an accident. But were they closed down? Not at all. In fact, even today, the NRC is issuing extensions to the licenses so that these plants can operate for another 20 years. But the Mark I isn't the only dangerous design in this country. For example, in California on the coastline near San Luis Obispo, the Diablo nuclear power plant sits on a cliff edge on the fault line. And further down the coast near San Diego, the San Onofre nuclear power station is on a surfing beach. And yes, that's the same Pacific Ocean that delivered the tsunami to Japan. But it need not take an earthquake or tsunami to cause a reactor meltdown. Fundamentally, the ultimate problem in Japan was a loss of electricity. And when they lost electricity to the power plant, they went to backup diesel generators. And when those failed, they went to batteries. And when those died, well, sadly, we know the rest. A loss of power can happen anytime, any place for a number of reasons. For example, in 2003, here in this country, the Northeast was blacked out. 45 million Americans lost power to their home in eight states. And what was the cause? Failure to prune trees. But you don't need an electricity loss necessarily to create a meltdown. When the Three Mile Island accident occurred in 1979 and the Chernobyl accident in 1986, both times human error was the root cause of the problem. And you can't design against human error we can all make mistakes. We should be protected by the NRC, which is congressionally mandated to watchdog nuclear safety. But unfortunately, the NRC has knowingly allowed dangerous reactors to continue to operate even while they knew there were technical problems at the plants. So why does the NRC not act in the interest of public safety? Well, perhaps that's because 90% of its funding comes from the nuclear industry itself. And Congress has never brought the NRC before it to investigate whether it's doing a good job, in contrast to the Minerals Management Service, which was grilled after the BP oil spill. So given all these challenges, what can we do? We at Beyond Nuclear believe it is very important that the Congress mandate NRC to shut down the Mark I reactors right away. We also believe that we must tell President Obama not to continue with his policy to expand nuclear power in this country. And we have to tell Congress not to squander our taxpayer dollars on more nuclear plants in the form of federal loan guarantees. You can join us at Beyond Nuclear. With many voices, maybe we will finally be heard.